Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca. Today, we are going to talk about the differences between nurturing and mothering. We're gonna talk about this in the context of relationships. Whether you have a boyfriend, fiance, or husband, we are going to talk about the differences between these two archetypes, okay? And we're also going to talk about why this happens, why women fall into the mothering role instead of the nurturing role, and we're also going to talk about how to get out of it and stay out of it in this video. So if you are excited, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and let's get into it. So let's break down the differences between nurturing and mothering. Let's start off with mothering. So mothering is essentially what it sounds like. You are mothering or treating your partner, your fiance, your husband, your boyfriend as a child. A mothering woman doesn't think that her partner can handle his own life and their life together. So she looks to control every aspect of his life, what he's eating, what he's wearing, where he's going, all of the above, right? And in that, she usually makes decisions for him, what he's going to eat, how he's going to take out the trash, how he's going to change the kids, all of these different things. She is taking control over the situation instead of her husband or her partner. And this happens usually when women lose trust, faith, hope in the leadership of their husbands or partners. She usually feels this over time when the expectations she puts on her partner, her husband, doesn't get met over time. So then she feels the need to take control or ownership of that particular thing that her husband or partner is doing, and therefore she starts mothering every aspect of his life. But it can come from like the littlest things, right? Oh, did you pick up the dry cleaning? Oh, did you take out the trash? If your husband is tasked to do something and that you know what your roles are, Keeping tabs on what he's doing is not beneficial to your relationship because what it does, it actually makes him either rebel against you or shut down altogether and stop doing the things that he's supposed to do and therefore your expectations tank and you continue to lean in and drive him further and further away. You are driving this man to becoming more of your child than your life partner and your husband and the man who's supposed to lead your family in the decision. You as the wife or the girlfriend or the fiance usually end up making the decisions and ultimately it leads to resentment, animosity, and a loss of polarity and a loss of attraction in the relationship because now you've created a mother-son dynamic instead of a husband-leader dynamic in your marriage. So let's look at the opposite of mothering, which is nurturing. A nurturing woman encourages, she speaks life into, she is doing things for her husband or her partner. However, he has ownership of his life. He makes the decisions. He is the leader and she supports him. She is his helpmate. She provides her opinions. She can be supportive in the decisions that he makes. However, she is not telling him what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. All right, guys, I want to stop this video very quickly to tell you guys about my newest favorite obsession, okay? And that is laundry sauce. When I tell you that this is the best laundry detergent I've ever used in the history of me doing laundry, you don't, that wouldn't even come close, okay? I am not kidding. I am going to be a forever subscriber to laundry sauce because of the smell alone. But not only that, these are non-toxic, right? This is 
actually good laundry detergent that smells even better. First of all, this is what you get, okay? You're not getting a little, you know, plastic container that says Tide or Gain on it. You are getting a luxury box, okay? You are getting a luxury box with luxury scents, okay? Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I'm telling you, when I got this, I was like, no way. This is not how laundry is supposed to look like, right? So these are your pods. Super simple. They smell insane, okay? I have the Australian sandalwood, but they have a ton of scents on their website. They have a rose scent. They have a pine scent. Whatever scent you're into, I'm sure you will find a scent that matches your personality and the smells that you like. But I'm telling you, you better run, not walk, run to get yourself some laundry sauce because I'm telling you, this has forever changed the game for me and laundry and I look forward to doing laundry. Get yourself some, okay? I have a discount code for you guys to pick up yourself some laundry sauce and it will be down in the description and the pinned comment. Now let's get back into this video. This can be very, very difficult, especially for women who have past traumas, right? You may think that you have it under control. You might think that you've gone to enough therapy sessions about it, but something triggers it. Maybe like your husband falling into an addiction or, you know, stepping out in a marriage and this is your avenue to gain control. Another reason why women take on this mothering role is because they feel let down in the relationship relationship. Maybe you feel like you're taking on more of the chores or more of the responsibilities around the house and your husband isn't chipping in. The reality is, is that most likely you are just doing everything for your husband and for your family. And so what you're doing is instead of just giving him the space to make his own mistakes, which is very important for life. If you don't know how to do something, but someone else does it for you all of the time, what do you think is gonna happen? Do you think that person's gonna learn how to do it? Or do you think that they're gonna rely on the other person because they know that the default will be that that person will just take control over the situation? So giving space to your husband to make mistakes mistakes is so important, especially for parenting and child rearing and all of that other stuff in the relationship. If you take control over every single situation and outcome in this household, you're going to be burnt out and you're going to be extremely resentful of your husband or partner. We need to understand that our husbands, our partners are their own individual person. They're not a robot and they're not supposed to be this perfect thing, right? It's not about perfection. It's about progress. And if you find yourself going into these mothering roles, into these mothering positions, right? Take a step back. Start asking yourself, oh, am I mothering him? If he forgets to take out the trash, is that going to be a life or death situation? Or if he forgets to fold the laundry a couple times, is that going to be a life or death situation, right? Most likely that answer is no. Giving him the space to learn how to do these things and supporting him along the way and encouraging him and breathing life into him is going to only make him want to do those things even more and better and take on more and more responsibility. And then you are going to find that he's ultimately making the decisions. He's taking the leadership role and you can start leaning back. And if you find yourself reverting back to that mothering role, it's okay. All you have to do is stay consistent, right? It's about consistency. You're not going to get it right 100% of the time and you shouldn't beat yourself up about it either. Asking yourself, wow, am I mothering? If that's yes, then what do I do to stop that, right? Maybe it's not giving him instruction. Maybe it's saying, hey, you know, if you want help, I can help you with this. But if not, like you totally like got this, like 
I support you and you, you know, take it away. You got it, right? Being his cheerleader. He's going to love that much more than being nagged, complained, and treated like a little child. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys liked it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.